Hey everyone! So I'm in a different spot just because my baby is sleeping and I was filming in the room next to her and I didn't want her to wake up again this time. So in a different spot, sorry for the light, I'm using natural light for right now. But I do have a ring light on the way so my videos should be a whole lot better when that light comes in. So today I'm going to do a drugstore review on all my favorite products from the drugstore whether you're beginning in makeup or you just don't have a whole lot of time. These are my favorites so I hope you enjoy them. So let's go ahead and get into my favorite products. So I have a whole bunch of products sitting here in front of me and I want to go ahead and start with the face and then we'll move on to the eyes and so forth. One of my favorite drugstore primers is the NYX Angel Vel. It's kind of like the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This one is a little bit more thick where the Too Faced Hangover Primer is a bit more moisturizing on your face. This one definitely is a little bit more velvety and fills in your pores a little bit more. I do have really dry skin so I definitely feel that this helps a lot with that. Another one of my favorite primers from the drugstore is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. This does have a bit of a sheen to it. You can see that it does have a bit of a luminosity to it. What I like doing is combining this with my foundation. Um, gives my foundation a little bit more loomy. You can take a matte foundation and put some of this in it and it will make your face look a bit more dewy. Um, again, since I'm dry, that's what I like is more of a dewy primer and foundation. Um, but if I do use a matte foundation, I will put this in it to help it out. So next are my favorite foundations from the drugstore. It's really hard for me to find a foundation that I really, really like, especially with how dry my face is. I get really bad dry spots along my nose, so I need something extremely moisturizing to make it so it doesn't look so cakey, make it so that it doesn't cling on to my dry spots without looking ridiculous. Here are my favorite foundation. One that I like a whole lot is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. They do have a matte one, but I enjoy this one because I am dry. I did not cling on to my dry spots as much as the Revlon Color Stay. That one was horrible on my face. It broke up all on my nose and you could see it. It looked really bad. So after I was using that one, I found this one and I really liked it. During the summer when I'm not as dry, these work great. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I love this too. There's a reason why so many YouTubers are talking about this right now. It makes my face look really healthy and dewy. It doesn't cling on to my dry spots that I have on my nose, which I really, really like, and it doesn't break up either. So this one is a really great one if you're looking for an affordable foundation as well. And to go along with that, I don't have it in this room with me, but it's L'Oreal Infallible, but it's the Pro Matte. That one is really good too if you have oily skin. When I use it during the summer, when I'm a little bit more oily, it made my face look so good and I loved it. So go ahead and check that one out if you're more oily. Moving on to concealers. My favorite is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this. I was using the Tarte Shape Tape for a while and I like it. It's a really great product, but it does tend to make my under eyes a bit more dry because I do have dry under eyes as well. My whole face is dry. When I put the Tarte Shape Tape under there, it did kind of accentuate those dry spots underneath my eye, which for right now I just wasn't really liking. So what I went ahead and picked up was the Maybelline Fit Me, and I've been using this every day, and I really, really like it. It doesn't cake up underneath my eyes. It doesn't make my eyes look drier. The next concealer that I really like is the Maybelline Age Rewind. It's a dark circles eraser. It feels so lightweight on top of your foundation. It does have a little bit of a pink undertone to it, but I really, really like this. It does have just a little sponge tip on top, and I'll take this and just rub it underneath my eyes. If I want to highlight, I'll put it up there, down my nose, and on my chin. Moving on to setting powders, one that I really, really like is the NYX. HD banana powder and what I do is I take a brush and I put it underneath my eyes wherever I've put concealer I will go ahead and put this as well if I want a little bit more of a matte look to my face um, I'll put it in spots where I don't like my skin feeling sticky or I don't want the foundation to move which is normally on my jawline and on my chin um, so I'll go ahead and take a big fluffy brush 
swirl this in there and just pat it on my chin and a smaller brush and dust it underneath my eyes. This will lock your concealer in place. Doesn't make my under eyes look creasy. I really, really enjoy this. For bronzer, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer is amazing. Everybody talks about this as well. It smells so good. It smells like tropical and it just smells delicious. I can't think of something for it. Just tropical. If you think tropical, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it smells so good. It makes my cheeks look so good. You can't even see it. It's hardly even showing up. But I am wearing it on my cheeks today. So you can see it on there. This is a great bronzer. I highly recommend it. Physician's Formula is a little bit on the pricier side of drugstore products. This is the main bronzer that I use. Really, it's the only bronzer that I use. I'll take it on my cheeks. I'll take it on my forehead and down my temples. I'll even bring it around my jaw and my chin. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend this. Sticking with the cheeks, I'm going to go ahead with blush. It's what I'm wearing today. It's the ColourPop blush. If you haven't heard of ColourPop, go look them up right now. They are so affordable and their products are amazing. I love them. This is their blush in the shade between the sheets so it looks like that it's really 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 nice they're so creamy all of their products are extremely creamy it is it's gorgeous I love it you just take it on a brush you kind of have to swirl it in there a little bit and then just dabbing it on the cheeks it's so so pretty I love it and I believe this was only eight dollars and there's so many different colors on there like I said, ColourPop.com. Go check them out. They're fantastic. Another couple blushes that I don't have in front of me right now, but you definitely should check out, is the Wet n Wild blushes. They're so good. They're so cheap. Go check them out. And then on to highlighters. One that I absolutely love, and Kathleen Lights made me buy it because she raved about it so much. But it's so good. It's the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. If you're looking for just a really subtle kind of glow with from within highlight, definitely check this out. And I think it was like $3, so it wasn't expensive at all. You can kind of see it on my hand above that blush. But it's so pretty. If I'm not looking for like a way out there highlight, this is the one that I like to use just because it is really subtle. And the next highlighter that I really, really enjoy is this Physician's Formula Natural Nude shimmer strips. You can use these for eyeshadows, highlight, whatever you want, but what I do is just take these first shades. These shades right here are so pretty. So swatching them, look how shiny that is. I think it's so pretty. I am wearing some of it on my face today. You can see that highlight right there. Again, Physicians Formula is a little bit on the pricier side. I believe this was like 13 or 14 dollars, but it's so pretty and use the other shades for eyeshadows just putting them all, all over the lid They're gorgeous. I love it. Check this one out. Okay, just an apology. My baby woke up It's the life of a mom <laughs> So if she talks she's such a chatterbox. I apologize Next is the ColourPop highlight which looks like this There are so many different highlights on their website as well and they are as equally as amazing as everything else They are buttery, they are creamy, they go on so well They feel so good when you touch them, just look at that It's so pigmented So there it is right there Just taking it on your finger, dabbing it on wherever you want it Highlight it on your cheeks, on your nose, on your cupid's bow it just makes everything look so much better. So this is in Lunch Money. I also have a purple one, but I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it looks so, so pretty. Love these as well. Moving on to eyeshadow. I haven't found an eyeshadow palette that I'm just absolutely in love with from the drugstore. I do like the ColourPop Singles. They are so pretty, again, just like everything else, creamy, buttery, they just feel amazing. And they're so pigmented. These are just a few that I have in my collection, but these are some of my favorites. The one that I'm wearing on my eyes yeah. right now is called Weenie, and I love it. Yeah. It's so pretty. It's like a rose gold, a metallic color, and you can see how pigmented these yeah. are. It's gorgeous. And best of all, these are $5. $5 for this. 
gorgeousness. It's so pretty. I love it. The way I like applying them best is just putting my finger in there and then dabbing it on my eyelid. Those are That's my favorite way to apply it. Or you need a synthetic brush and then you can use it that way just because they are so creamy. For eyeliner, I've been liking this Physicians Formula eyeliner. I have a hard time finding an eyeliner that I really, really like, but I actually like this because it does resemble a lot of the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I have been really liking this. It works really well. So many other eyeliners that I've tried have just been so hard to apply. They're either too big, too watery. This one worked really well for me. It is also a brush tip eyeliner. It glides on really, really easy. I don't have any troubles with this one. It doesn't transfer, which is fantastic. So again, it's the Physician's Formula Eyeliner. It's the Eye Booster Eyeliner. So definitely check this out. L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara is amazing. I love this so much. It reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but this is so much cheaper. It makes your eyelashes look so voluminous and it spreads them out so well and it doesn't get clumpy. I don't ever see it transfer. It's awesome. I'm wearing it on my eyes today as you can barely see them just because you're far away. I'm not a huge fan of wearing lashes. I normally just use mascara because I do feel like my lashes are already pretty long and big. I love this stuff, definitely give it a try. And then on to eyebrows. If I'm ever having a day where I'm just rushing through, I don't have enough time to go totally glam on my eyebrows and I need something just quick and easy, I go for the Essence Make Me Brow. This is a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's just a pigmented gel with little fibers in there and I just brush this through my eyebrows. It shapes them, it sets them, it adds little fibers to make them look a little bit more full and I really like it. It takes two seconds to just sweep this through my brows really quick and then I'm good to go. No effort made and my eyebrows look good. And then I also like this NYX Micro Brow. The only thing that I have to say about this that I don't like is that it doesn't come with a spoolie. And I definitely think that if you're doing your brows, you need a spoolie to be able to go through and brush through them. This one doesn't have one, but I do like the product itself. It's just a small little pencil. It's really nice for being able to mimic hairs. I really, really like it. It's soft and waxy, but it's not too soft to the point where you're going to break it every single time you use it. I've tried the Maybelline one and I didn't like that one as much as because it was too creamy and it went on way too easily, so I had to fix it up a lot. But this one goes on really, really nice. On to lips. Surprise, surprise. More ColourPop stuff. These are so great. They're so cheap. The lip pencils and the lippy sticks are five dollars each. This is just a small little glimpse into the collection that I have because I do have quite a bit. Personally like the satin liquid lipsticks the best. They do still dry down quite a bit which is nice um, but it's definitely not as much as the matte ones do. And then a couple of my other favorite lipsticks. This is the Rimmel London Kate edition in number 45. It's so pretty. It's just a basic nude. I have it on my lips today and I love this color. I love it, love it, love it. It's been talked about by several other YouTubers and I had to go out and get it and I did. I love it just as much as they do and it smells great so definitely pick this one up. And the other lipsticks that I love are the Maybelline lipsticks. They have huge, huge range of colors. They have nudes and blushes and mattes and satins. They have so many. But I really, really like these. This is in the color Lust for Blush. This is really, really pretty. Um, I also have some nudes from them. They feel nice on the lips. And lastly, for applying my makeup, some brushes and applicators, what I like to apply my foundation best, damp sponge. I do have the Beauty Blender and I do that use that quite a lot, but I also have this Real Technique sponge. It works just the same as a Beauty Blender. I didn't see too much of a difference between the two. Um, they both feel nice. They both apply my foundation just as well as the other one. So definitely check this one out. It was like it was like around $8, $9, I think, maybe even less, I don't remember now. Compared to the Beauty Blender, that's $20 for a sponge. 
This one does the trick just as well. If you're looking for a sponge, use this. I find that if I use a brush to apply my foundation, it pulls up my dry skin and makes my dry skin visible. If I use a damp beauty sponge, it presses it down so you can't really see it as much. So that's what I like to use to apply my foundation. And then for face brushes, for applying any of my loose powders, um, for blending in my powders, this is what I'll use is a Real Techniques. This is the powder brush. And then I also have the blush brush from Real Techniques. I like this one as well. I do use it more for bronzer than I do for blush. I find that it just gets in there really, really nicely and I can blend it. It's so soft, so I love this one. And then for eye brushes, my favorite eye brushes are the Morphe brushes. These ones are fantastic. If you go to morphebrushes.com, they have so, 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 so many brushes on there. And not to mention that their makeup is fantastic. I love their eyeshadows. And they're really affordable. I think these brushes were between like $5 to $10 each. Um, I really like them. They do have more expensive brushes on there, but I love these ones as well. All right, and that's it for my drugstore favorites. If you want to know what your favorites are, go ahead and leave them in those comments below. And subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me if you did. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing what products I love using. I do plan on doing a tutorial of these products in my next video. So I'll see you next time. Bye!